Thanks, Sarah. We'll check back with you soon. On September 1st, the recently passed gas tax increase will go into effect. A six cent hike this year, followed by two cent bumps each of the next two years. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman has been speaking with local officials on how the gas tax money will be spent. He joins us now in the studio with more. Hey, Robert. Well, Michael, of the total sum generated by the gas tax, each city will get a portion to spend on the infrastructure projects that they see fit. So with the gas tax hike going to effect next week, city and county leaders are finalizing their plans while drivers are preparing to pay extra. For Sonia Murphy, Stopping off at the gas station to fuel up is a common occurrence. I drive every day. Daily commute's about 25 minutes. But that daily commute often includes a bit of maneuvering. The need for better roads could not be more emphasized here because I drive to work every day and I'm dodging 30 potholes. Which is part of the reason why the Alabama legislature passed a gas tax increase in March. September 1st, a six cent per gallon tax hike goes into effect. It sounds a little extreme, yeah, just to add that extra six cents on there. But to Murphy, six cents seems like a lot, but a portion of the money generated will go towards fixing roads. That's what city leaders across the state, including Pam Palmer, the mayor of Adamsville, are working on now. Any extra funding we can get as a small town, we're very excited about it. Palmer tells us that Adamsville will be getting a projected near $27,000 to put towards road repairs. And she hopes to start with roads like Oakwood Drive. But 27,000 only goes so far. It's not a magic wand and it's not enough funding to pave a, one road. Um, one small road we paved a couple of years ago cost a little over a quarter of a million dollars. Even so, Palmer believes that every penny helps. And if the roads do see improvement, Murphy believes that the extra six cents a gallon are worth it. Yeah, if we get better roads out of the tax, I'll, I'm all for it, absolutely. And some cities have already ratified their plans, whereas others, such as Adamsville, will be holding city, city council votes later this week. Reporting live in the studio, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.